Hi guys, Stompbox here, and uh, you're looking under the guts of my uh, Epiphone SG. I uh, had this now, I don't know, a month or two maybe, and uh, I did a video on it and I said I wasn't going to monkey with it because I was happy with the way it was. Well, I can't leave anything alone, so I think I'm going to change it out. I have a set of Elnico 2 Pro pickups. There's one thing in the camera. These two here, these aren't the uh, slash versions, these are just the regular ones. But they're sitting here and I'm going to put them in just to see what the difference is. And um, I also have a, uh, where the hell did I put it? This Gibson 498T that I might stick in the bridge. I don't know what depends how these guys work out. And I have a Seymour Duncan um, 59 right here that I can uh, put in the neck. I'd probably put that in with the. Uh, 498C. So I'm going to, I hope you hear me over that damp furnace, I'm going to uh, proceed to uninstall the uh, existing Epiphone pickups, which aren't bad pickups. I think they're modeled after the Gibson um, uh, 57 Classics. So this red wire is the uh, neck position goes to ground here. That's the ground wire, the ground strap that goes to the bridge. And it goes onto this terminal. These are 500k pots, incidentally. Gibson only puts uh, 300k in the uh, volume side of their uh, lineup. Okay. okay, that's that one. That's the neck position I'm done. This black one is the bridge. And it's grounded here, and then it runs around to the first terminal on the pot. So, again, da -da -da, there we go. That's all there is to disconnect in. So, give me a minute here, I'll flip over the guitar and uh, pull the pickups out. Okay, the damn furnace is stopped. And I have the screws taken out of the uh, pickup rings. I think you want to watch me doing that. And um, I took the opportunity to change this switch, turn it sideways. So now there's the front, middle, and back pickup. This seems to make more sense because I keep doing that anyway because I'm used to playing with a strat. So I just twisted it around and see how that goes. Okay, so we just lift the pickups out. They've already been desoldered. And pull the wire through and we take a look at the back and it is what a true epi pickup looks like it's got a stamp on there there's a sticker g400 for the sg400 that's the back pickup the front pickup this is the back pickup and it's same thing bridge this is bridge on the sticker so that's what the Epi pickups look like out of a real Epi. You can compare those to the Gibsons if you so desire. And uh, this is usually a good opportunity to wipe the dust and crap and cor corruption and from under the bridge and around all the little nooks and crannies you normally can't get at. I've learned a lot of stuff from. Uh, a fellow by the name of Dave. He's got a YouTube channel, the Dave's World of Fun Stuff. This guy's been doing this for a number of years. He's really, really good with his guitars and a lot of fun to watch too. Great character. I'll leave a link below for you if I can remember and figure out how to do it. And uh, you can check out his channel, Dave's World of Fun Stuff. He's got about 500 videos. You want to learn anything about guitars? Just watch that guy. So, there we go. Um, give me a moment here, and I'll uh, get the pickups ready, and we'll fish them through to the uh, control cab. Just something I thought I would uh, point out here. Um, try to get on the camera. There's basically two sizes of screws for these things. The large ones you will find on. Um, Import guitars like Epiphone or the Chipsons and whatnot. These are the screws that hold the pickup into the ring. Most American-made 
you asked me to have a smaller screw, which is the problem I'm having now. The big screw came out of the uh, Epi pickups, but my new pickups take small screws. So i got to scratch around my toolbox and find a set of screws. I'm sure I have them. So it's just something to bear in mind. If you're doing a pickup swap, you might have to find a set of smaller screws to uh, put in the, uh, the, the new pickups. Just thought I'd add that. Okay, I got the uh, pickups fished through this one here, the bridge one. I got the wires fished through that little hole. I actually shot a bit of video of me doing that, but my computer ran out of space and trashed on me, so I had to dump that video, so that part of the video. So, anyway, that's pretty much done. I'll flip over the guitar, pull the wires through, and we'll uh, solder it up. Okay. Um, I've got it um, so the wires are through. Here's one, and here is the other one. I'm not really sure which one is which. The shorter one will be the uh, bridge pickup. Okay, that's this one here. I can hear it moving. Okay, so this is the bridge side, and this one would be the neck position one, which is really tight. I hope it's going to reach. I don't think it's going to crap all the as I turn this pod, ha, look at that, it's loose anyway, so I can tighten that up, and then shove that through there, yeah, that'll be okay, yeah, that's fine, I can move the pot back to where it was, and then that black wire, I'm trying to keep my mitts out of the way so you can see, but this black wire was we'll solder on there, and the green wire, ground, will go on the ground. And this one will work the same way. Black is hot. Just out of the way. These things look like they're a mess because they've been in and out of guitar. I don't know how many times. Should really clean them up, but I'm getting short on wire, so I'll make do with this the way it is. Okay, so there's ground. There's hot. Here's hot. And here's ground. Okay, let's get this, ah, damn machine, ah. Okay, so this is the, uh, yeah, bridge. It wasn't so cold out, I'd turn that thing off for a while. one around. What you gotta do is solder without melting anything else except what you want to melt, which is not always easy. Okay. It's on. Not as tidy as I would like it, but it'll do. If I'm happy with the way these pickups sound, I'll stay in the guitar for a while. I'll come back and clean things up a little bit. this stuff out of the way so I can get at that terminal right there. That's where I want to go. So, take this. This is a time too if you wanted to try doing that Peter Green thing with uh, out of face pickups. You could simply put the wires on one of the pickups reverse or use that one normally be a ground, use that as your hot, use that as your ground. I've tried that, and uh, it doesn't sound like Peter Green at all. <laughs> it sounds like an out-of-phase pickup, but it just sounds like an out-of-phase pickup. It doesn't sound very good. There's something magical about that particular axe. You know, there's a million reasons why that one sounds the way it does. Okay. So, uh, I don't bother doing that anymore. But I did try it. This a bit. Doesn't do any harm to the, the target trash. 
also. Okay, that's on. Oh shit. That would be what's known as a cold solder joint. I didn't get Koi in there good enough. So these two wires here, this uh, if you're wondering, would be for coil split or coil tapping. You can uh, put these on a push pull pot and split the uh, coils. Though I would choose to do that. I don't really. I've tried that. I don't like it. I just uh, leave them alone so they'll remain out of the way. And um, that's it for the wiring. Give me a minute. We'll uh, do a tap test with the pickups and see if it works. installed. We're going to do the tap test. So uh, I got my son here Ian. He's going to help out. <laughs> so go ahead do the tap test like I showed you. Okay. All right now. Go back. Yep. Go back. Try that one. Okay. Go up to the front, front. one. And we're done. Okay. The tap test works. Everything's good. I'll just restring it up. And we'll see what it sounds like. And you'll notice I have the switch done forward, backward, like I said. To, um, it's just a bit easier to work that way. And, um, oh yeah, one other thing as well I should point out. The uh, screws that hold the pickups in. Sometimes, the old school way are the slotted ones like this. That's like your old 59, 58 Les Pauls, all that. They had the slot ones. And more modern ones are like this, but the Phillips. I didn't have a full set of either one, so I just split them up. But at some point, Gibson decided that they were, didn't like stabbing themselves in the hand when they installed pickups, so they changed over to Phillips. So um, stabbing themselves in the hand with a screwdriver hurts. So anyway, that's it. So I'll restring it, and we'll see what it does. Hey, there it is. The new pickups in place. The pickup covers are uh, raw nickel. They're um, basically nickel coated, but they're not uh, polished up like chrome. You can find them online. They look pretty cool. They give the thing more of a vintage vibe. So um, that's what that's all about. But uh, here they are installed. I'm not going to bother playing it. It's getting kind of late and I don't want to be uh, cranking my amp up. But uh, you get the idea. So uh, any questions, uh, let me know. Thanks for watching.